Oh fuck! Look who it is! It's our boy! He's here! Oh Jesus! Oh man! Oh that's so good! He's just there! Our beautiful boy! Good old triangle face! Oh! Oh god! See you later buddy! What the fuck? Was this apartment here before? What ha- He's dead. Who could have done this? So, what always really bothered me about this scene is you have, like, this smear. And so it's literally, like, someone killed him over here and he started just bleeding out. And then pushed the chair up to the television. And I don't know why, but there's something so fucked up about that. Uh, famously, this character model is actually just James. Um, people read into that a lot and people kind of have attached a lot of different symbolism to that. Personally, I think it's just... They needed a human character model, and they just reused James. I think the hair is slightly different, but that's it. A key! Got the, rooms, the key to room 202. Sweet. Yeah, I don't... None of that shit was here before, I don't think. Unless I completely missed it. And our sweet boy is gone. Never to return. Oh well. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Pixel his Hipster asks, Fave Opie. Uh, I'd have to say, say Guts. Those are some beautiful baratitties. Okay, head down to room 202. ourselves a health drink and a weird red sink hold on let's wow that's not ominous or frightening at all whoa what the fuck ah Damn insects. There's nothing inside the cage. Ah, oh, this music. There are dead butterflies on the bed and ground. There's nothing else of interest here. It's too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of the hole. Will you investigate? Now when they say investigate there, I feel like they're kind of misleading you into what that actually means. Because what it actually means is... James is going to jam his whole fucking arm into that awful nightmare hole. Back down to the clock. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up that like whoever lived in this apartment was just very into butterflies 
and now that like whatever has happened has happened and they're just everywhere like it's a really nice little touch it doesn't even like equate to anything but I don't know it just it adds like it adds a lot of little personality to the place like someone lived here and that's it's kind of it's just fucking weird and sad and I love that kind of stuff about this game <laughs> so James went down the woolly hole he sure did um, guys, uh, if I don't answer a question in the chat, like, you don't need to keep sending it because, like, I do see them. It's just kind of like, sometimes I answer stuff and sometimes I don't. There's no real, like, reason or rhyme to it. Man, this building looks so fucking good. We're up here. Ah, uh, okay, hang on. Oh no, that's just the television static. There's nothing in this room. <gasps> and the clock room is in here. The clock stopped at 3.45 and 15 seconds. The faceplate is closed. It is locked, I can't touch the needles. If only we had some kind of... Oh shit, wrong button, damn it. I messed up the timing on that one. If only we had some type of... Clock key! I think that should do it. We'll see. Oh man, damn, I fucked it up. What a hard to push. Okay. Oh, I remember. Yeah. What's this? So it's Henry Mildred Scott, but it's like hours, minutes, seconds. So. Seconds? What the fuck? Shit. Henry Mildred Scott. So that means that. Henry Mildred Scott. So then. The hours, it looks like it's pointing to 10, and then the minutes is pointing to, I think the minutes are pointing, ah, we'll fuck it, we'll figure it out. So the minutes are pointing to, it's not quarter, so it's going to be, yeah, okay. Let's give this a shot. I think I just figured it out by accident. Got it! Perfect! Okay, where are we? Okay, this is all pretty pleasant. You could potentially move into an apartment like this. the hole. Let's take a little, a little look here. Like even, I love how the footsteps in here, like the footstep noises are completely different. Like 
It's like a kind of harder footstep, and then you come out here onto slightly different wood. And it's dirty. Yeah, that's just so cool. Makes you feel like you're there, man. Okay. <gasps> Let's save. Uh, Bo Betty asks, what are your favorite vocal tracks from the Silent Hill series? Um, I really love, I think it's Hometown from the Silent Hill 3 soundtrack. This town will eventually save me or kill me. It's, it's, it's a really great song. And I think that's everything in here. So let's, let's continue our journey. Difference? Did we miss something? No, we didn't miss anything. Okay, we're in a different stairwell now. Let's have a little look around here. It's locked. Okay, nothing down here for us. Um. Um. Uh, Galdrick asks, what country are you from? Um, I'm actually from Ireland. Um, if you're having trouble with that accent, that could be for two reasons. A, uh, internationally, I don't think, I think the Irish accent always gets very badly done in movies and television. And so people don't really know it when they hear it. But also because I watched so much like American television growing up, I have a kind of sort of vaguely like mid-Atlantic accent and people i think sometimes have trouble figuring that out but yeah i was born and raised in ireland and i like ireland it's it's for the most part it's a pretty okay country although fucking brexit sure is making things complicated those those the troubles are back oh I <gasps> don't think about it don't think about it. Just, just. <sighs> oh, fuck. Listen to that fucking footstep. Oh, this bit's so weird. It's like he's smelling with his hand or something. Oh. Yeah, pyramid heads like, like complicated. Uh, we'll 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 get into it, but not a not a great dude. Is there anything else in this apartment? It's making the kind that looks like a landscape of this area. Yeah, <sighs> that's um that's a really famous cutscene, as. It's just so shocking and horrifying. And like, you kind of have a sense of what's happening, but it's also really difficult to say like specifically. But um, yeah, I saw someone type in the chat there, Pyramid Daddy. I don't know why people think Pyramid Head is sexy. I guess it's because in the movies, they like ripped off his shirt and gave him a six pack. And like, if you're not familiar with Silent Hill, and I have ranted about this for a long time, Pyramid Head is like, Spe fuck pyramid head is like he's very spe he's like particular to this game like he has a very he has a reason for being here 
and it always drives me nuts to see him like in ah oh, jesus christ okay what's in here what's in here what's in here what's in here come on camera ah oh, fuck where is it where is it where is it okay there it is okay we're gonna we're gonna take this guy out ah damn you come on Okay, down he goes. <sighs> There's like cool little effects like um when James walks in a dead body, he trails blood behind him. Shit like that was like mind blowing back in the PS2 era. And um, Danto asks, how's them tank controls? Honestly, I don't mind them. Uh, I like tank controls for the most part. And I think if Silent Hill like controlled more efficiently, you would lose some of the charm. And so I've always been cool with them. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Ah, uh, jeez. Let's let's turn out the lights. See if he fucks off. What are you looking at, James? What are you looking at? What's wrong, James? What are you looking at? He's like a weird dog. Does your dog ever get like obsessed with something and he, it won't it won't stop? Ah, here it is. Good boy, James. James is all right. Handgun bullets. Oh, he's still looking at something. James, buddy, you gotta help me out. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna try and run past this guy. Uh, and we're all right. Mm. Yeah, I'm just not gonna fight these dudes. And I think that's everything up there, so now we can head back down a bit. We're making steady progress. I I'm pleased with how we're doing here. It's broken. Shit's broken. I got some canned juice. Um, so yeah, there's a really weird puzzle here where we have to drop the canned juice down a garbage chute. Oh, it's our photo of Mary. Examine. Sweet lady. Oh, okay, so this is fucking awesome. You have this letter from Mary. Um, In my restless dreams, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. I'm gonna come back to that letter in the future, because they do something fucking awesome with that letter later on. Um, Yeah. We'll see. Okay, so we have that juice, which now lets us drop the... We can drop that down and, like, unclog the garbage. Can we get out from this way? I think we can. Now it's unlocked. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, Galdrick asks, are you from Tala? No, I'm not. Um, my partner grew up in Tala, but I, I am not. Um, Air Taco asks, thoughts on the Fatal Frame series? <sighs> so, I know, like, people lose their mind over Fatal Frame 2. I actually didn't really like it very much. Uh, I, I didn't... I just, I got about four hours in and I just, I thought it was like, just kind of clunky and not that scary. Like the Japanese ghosts just didn't really frighten me very much. Um, that's just me. I know a lot of people like it, but yeah, it just, it wasn't, it didn't really do a whole lot for me. Um, where am, what, oh yeah. For some reason, the way this controls my inventory is mapped to, it's mapped to like, select or options. And there we go. I feel like that puzzle is like a little bit of a stretch. Like, I don't know if there's that much like good logic to like why you would drop a can, like a stack of orange juice cans down a chute, but that's what you do. Um, Davy the Sixth Moon, Nitro Rad recently did a fun set of videos for the three Fatal Frame games. Yeah, I actually watched them all. I'm a big fan of Nitro Rad. I think um, he's a really cool guy, and I I genuinely really like his stuff. The garbage bag is torn and the contents are strewn all over. I got the coin, old man. What's this? Some gossip magazine, eh? The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Loken and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, severing his carotid artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown, Pleasant River, said he didn't look he didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, he's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, buddy. So now with that in mind, I'm actually at a little bit of a loss of where we go, but I think we might head back over here this way and see what we can find. Okay, so we've been all up there, nothing. Then we go up here. don't think we can get in there which is fine and then back up here okay let's see what we can find Um, what do you think of Mr. Plinkett from Red Letter Media? I actually don't watch that much Red Letter Media stuff. Um, I know a lot of people who like them. They're just not super my thing. Um, but I do like some of the... I, I do like like the Plinkett Star Wars reviews. I think they're like... They're kind of important in how they kind of shaped a lot of video essay stuff. But... Um, oh, shit. Yeah, this. Okay. Got the fire escape key. So now let's see. Where do we use that? gonna go back down the way we can oh damn it nope ah jesus christ okay yep yeah, let's just pass him pass 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 oh god okay fire escape fire escape is on the second floor 
there. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so we got to go around and back. Um, <laughs> just to watch, have you heard of Irish Simpsons fans political party? No, I started actually following Irish Simpsons fans after I made the Simpsons meme video, which shit, like I wish I had known about them beforehand, like properly, but um, yeah, I really enjoy their stuff. It's so fucking funny. And very, like, <laughs> like all their Brexit shit is so on point as well. It's just, it's, it's great. Um, Air Taco asked, do you watch anyone's content from the BreadTube community? I would say I probably watch all the major BreadTubers for sure. Um, there's a new guy. Well, he's not new. He's been doing stuff for a while. But uh, there's a guy called Jose I quite like recently. And um, he... He recently did a video on why Ben Shapiro's novel is garbage, and it's so bad. Like, it's so fucking bad. But I kind of thought it would be alright, because, like, if you ever, like, read Ben Shapiro's writing, it's like, the dude's meant to be, like, a journalist, and, like, he can't structure sentences. I like this cutscene a lot. I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. That was so interestingly shot, we'll say. There's an old broken down bed here. It looks like there's something stuck inside the toilet. Will you take it out? Aw, oh, James, buddy. Buddy. Aw, oh, James. Aw, oh, James. James, why? It looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo in it. 15-16-05-06. Do we actually have that in like a, I want to say, like a notes file or something? Pen and bar, while I'm told about, cool. Oh, so another thing I like about this game is like, I feel like they do use like enemy encounters quite sparingly for the most part. Like we have not encountered many enemies and the focus isn't even on fighting them. It's just getting away from them. Okay, let's just check that memo real quick. Uh, uh, uh. We... So, f so 15, right to 16, left 05, right to 6. 15, 16, 05, 6. So 15, 16, 05, 6. 15, 16, 05, 6, and that's right, left, right. Okay, so 15, 16, and then I think it's left, 05, 06, shit, now I fucked that up, so 15, So I'm going to actually write this down for myself so I don't forget. Wallet and bowl. God damn, where's my memo app? Oh fuck it, I'll just take a photo. I get very confused with numbers and shit, so sometimes I just do this to kind of speed things along. So, 
So 15, and then right to 16, and then left to 05. And that should have been it. That's weird. Let's try that again. So 15. Maybe I'm maybe maybe I have the directions confused. I'll try go the other way. 15 16 05 and then we'd have to go all the way around to 06, but we'll see. Awesome. Got it. Got the handgun bullets. Got the handgun bullets. Got the handgun bullets. Got the handgun bullets. Good stuff. And just a weird random blood splatter. Um, Dark Kebabs asks, it seems like horror games these days do not, don't do much fighting anymore. What do you think? Um, well, for a long time there, horror games, like the dawn of Resident Evil 4, and I love Resident Evil 4, but that really, uh, um, that really changed what horror games kind of were for a long while. Oh shit, I hate not having a map. Where's the map? Where's the map? Where's the map? Uh, he's gonna be here soon. I don't want to be here. Uh... Dear Tim, I have run there and I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can. Please watch the place while I'm gone. Ah, uh, oh, Jesus, no, buddy! Oh, and the guy's coming from the other side. I don't like this. I don't like this. No, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. No. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. No, none of this. No, don't approve of anything that happened on this floor. <sighs> oh, there's the map. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so I think there's like a fair bit less to do. I think we're, we don't have too much more to go in these apartments, just a little bit, I think. But for the most part, we're fine. Okay, so yeah, I wanna, I wanna start on the first floor. Fucking cockroaches. Ah, God damn it. Mm, it's so like it's just there's something so wrong about the way they just stand completely still uh, there's a door there but it? ah, god damn it god damn this fucking game piece of shit game greatest horror game of all time my ass Something went real wrong in here. Like, real, real wrong. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. There's holes. Oh, I can't wait to figure out this stupid puzzle in front of everyone and not be able to do it. And then, like, if I wasn't twitching this, I'd be able to, like, do it. No problem. Twitching this, I sound so old. Oh, perfect. Uh, Zefty Dude asks, how late are you going to stream this? I want to get to the first cutscene with Maria, and then I think we'll call it a day. Okay, I think that's everything in here. We're, we're stockpiling the old health items. Like, look, like, look at all the shit we got. Got three of these, got a bunch of these. Not bad, not bad. Mm. Fucking. Ah, God damn it, where? Die! Got him. Dead. This 
door won't open. It feels like some power is holding the door closed from the other side, almost as if I need something or someone before it will let me in. That's that's a weird thought to have a bit of. Ah, no. Okay, no. I think we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna beat the shit out of this guy. Oh, uh, sir! Don't, don't, don't mishandle me, sir. Down you go. Come on. That's it. There we go. See, I think if you're firm but fair with the monsters, they kind of yield to you. They kind of get a begrudging respect and just lie down. That's kind of my approach with this stuff. Oh shit, they do a lot of damage. Jesus. Okay, so let's head back up the stairway. What? Did we go too far? Yeah, we did. Never mind. Carry on, sir. Have a have a lovely day. some rooms in here okay, get this open I think that's all the rooms on the second floor so now we're gonna head up to the third floor <gasps> oh, wrong button Oh shit, there is nothing up here. Uh oh. Okay, so let's see. We did that, 201. There, 209. I think that door is locked. That's, yeah, that's the place. They said that the key to that is in this room near the stairway. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. No, I'm here. Okay, where are we going? Um. Vin0093 asks, Are you a fan of MGS2 by any chance? I can see you being into some of the crazy shit that goes down later in the game. That is one of my favorite games ever, Metal Gear Solid 2. It is fucking such a crazy game. It goes such a weird direction, and I adore it. It's my favorite Metal Gear Solid game, and I am completely unapologetic for that. I just think it's the coolest shit in the world. So this is the room near the stairs, so I'm thinking maybe we missed the key in there. Let's have a little look around. Nothing in here. Oh, but there is that. that but is there anything else hmm so the first floor 109 I don't see anywhere else we can go hmm hmm uh. okay let's let me just check the inventory real quick From Mary Um, I was having a little look there, and I think what might have happened is that we actually missed 
a key in room 307. So let's say we head back there. Um, let's see. Now where the fuck is 307? Is that on this side? I think it might be. Yes, primary fire, I did wash my hands. Thank you for your concern. I'm not sure we can get to there from here. Let's see how we go. Uh, what do you think, Burn the Bread? What do you think? Air, Air Taco, yes, I am wearing pants. As I often have to remind people for these streams, I do not do them pants pantsless. I think that would be a poor decision on my part. We go. So two oh nine. So I think we gotta go. Apartment three oh seven is where we're headed. So let's see if we can get up there. So we got to go around and then up. I think it's... What? Why? That is a... That is a that is a frightening noise in this room. Fave Jojo OP. Okay, so I have like a super controversial opinion on my well, my Stan Proud is my favorite, but a close second is Chase, and I know people don't like that OP. I fucking love it. I think it's so good. But, yeah, I get that people, like, are not a fan. Okay, I th yeah, so I think we missed a key. Uh, I think we missed a key in 307. We're just gonna have to take this guy out. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. But you're... You can't be here. You can't be here. This is no... Sir, please just yield. Oh, God, no. Don't do that. Ugh. Oh shit, I'm getting interference there. Let's toss that over there. There we go. Courtyard key. And then for the courtyard key, I think we gotta go back down to like the first. fucking gaping hallways they're just they're so unsettling uh davy sixth the moon is it wrong that i find the combat in this game kind of funny horror is weird like that though like a lot of the ways we react to horror is kind of similar that ways that we like react to um oh shit off is like really similar to the way that kind of we react to comedy and like I, I i see people do that a lot like they kind of laugh at horror but that's still on some level i feel like means that it's getting you because part of horror is that it's like absurd and weird and it shows you things that like you don't normally encounter do you know what i mean 
So no, I don't think it's weird that like you'd have that reaction to stuff at all. And like the the animation is like stiff as hell, especially by today's standards. Yep, completely. Uh Fopa says that the combat that they added into the like Silent Hill Homecoming was like a detriment and it really was like that combat. Okay, there's some stuff in this there's some stuff down here that really I don't like at all. This enemy's actually this area is pretty dense with enemies, but here it's so unnerving. I think there's three lying figures in this pool. And just that pram in the middle and it's like, oh, Oh, leave me alone. Please, please. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I, I hate those guys. Oh, wow. Sick little jacuzzi. Okay, let's see what else we got out here. Perfect. Oh, Jesus! Oh, Christ. Uh, we're gonna have to take this guy out. Okay, monster. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just let him go. But- Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, fuck! Oh. Oh, no way. It's our boy. What the? Who could have done this? It's like someone got just fucking crushed to death with a filing cabinet or fridge, and that's messed up. But who? Who could have done this? Um, I want to see if there's any environmental stuff around here. I don't think there is. I think later on when you meet this character, there's like more stuff to kind of like give you an idea of who they are. But yeah, let's let's get in there. Pocket Ocean, yeah, the FMVs are gorgeous. They're so lovely. My, uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red pyramid thing, you? Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me. So I ran in here. <laughs> well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you. I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just... I just... You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, um, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Uh, yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie? Be careful. James, I... I, um... You be careful, too. <laughs> so, that cutscene's cool, because, like, 
that's he's so that's the second person you meet but it's like he's not from silent hill either so he's not from silent hill angela's not from silent hill they're all like just brought here for their own reasons and that's really awesome i think and that starts to tie into like i guess my favorite version of silent hill so it's it's weird because uh shit 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 where is he where is he okay he's right there we're, we're just gonna run we're gonna run um throughout the games like and like there's so many different ways of reading them but it's very difficult to get like a consistent picture of what silent hill actually is but my favorite version has always been the one presented in this game Where are you? Okay, we're gonna take him down. Oh god damn it. <sighs> Good stuff. Buried Zeno. Uh, says that he enjoyed the re the remastered voice actors more. Yeah, that's just not something I could ever get behind. Like, it's so... It is just kind of like, I hate to say it, it's like sacrilegious to me that to have a different voice cast. You just... The, I love this voice. And like, it's so weird and strange and just completely different to anything else. But because of that, like... Like, I don't know if... You know, we're fairly early on, but right now I feel like you can notice that like... The people in this game, they're not, like, quite right, like, any of them. You know, like, there's something not great going on here. And so when you have this really weird, like, uncanny voice acting, I think it's, um, it's a really, it's, it's like, it's, it, it works for me in a way that I just adore. Hell! That's pretty cool. So let's see, where are we going? That's, we've done all that stuff. I might just give this a quick look, because I don't want to be wandering around these apartments forever. The courtyard key, hallway. Scan key, first aid, handgun bullets, can juice. We got the snake coin. Sorry guys, just be two seconds. Yeah, we've done all that. Oh. Pixel Hipster says, do James's voice. Oh man, it's like, Mary, but why? And I, I love it so much. Okay, so we have to go to 109, I think. So, where is that? Ah, we'll find it. I think now we can get over to 109, which was that apartment that was like, there's some force holding this, holding this shut, so, yeah. 
I don't love stuff like that because I feel like it takes, like, there's no real obvious way into, like, why that would be open now. But I guess this was kind of, like, game design of a little bit of a different time. But now, how is the best way to actually get there? I think just straight down this hall. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, Dark Kebabs asked, so I assume you would never want a remake of this game comparable to the Ori 2 remake. No, never, ever, ever in a million years would I want a remake of this game. I love it the way it is, and I just, I don't think there's anything to be gained from it. Like, because, uh, like, um, if you guys ever listen to the boss cast, I really didn't enjoy the Resident Evil 2 remake. I just... Uh, like, I just didn't think it was fun, but also, like, the changes to the horror I didn't think were good. To me, they just turned Resident Evil 2 into, like, a like a Hollywood movie, and it just it didn't do anything for me. I know people love that game, and, like, it is really impressive. Like, it looks great, but, yeah, it just it kind of didn't, didn't do a whole lot for me. playing this man okay now we're, we're gonna play a little longer i don't think there's too much more left to these apartments and i really want to get to maria so let's see um shady squid wasn't hollywood wasn't ori 2's mission statement to be like a hollywood movie uh Honestly, like, whether it was or not, I, I don't, I wouldn't really care. Like, if that was their intention, that's cool, but it still didn't do anything for me personally, even if, like, that's what they were really going for. Like, um, if they achieved their, like, design doc, that's cool, but to me, like, the side of Resident Evil I've enjoyed has never been, like, a Hollywood movie. It's been as a survival horror video game. Do you know what I mean? And I think, like, the more it goes into that Hollywood-style stuff, the more I think you really lose what made those games special. Uh, uh, Air Taco asks, have we ever thought about having guests on the podcast? Um, <coughs> not really. I think there's a chance we might be having one or two guests in 2020. Uh, just some people that I think... I think people would really enjoy seeing on the podcast that I think might be visiting Ireland. But honestly, like, to me, a podcast is such a, it's such a chemistry thing, you know? It's such a, like, you have to, like, you have to know how to bounce off the people you're podcasting with and you have to have a very particular way of working with them that it's hard for me to me imagine what it would be like having a guest on. So it's not something we really think about a lot, but... Um, there's one or two people in 2020 who I know might be in the area that I think would be really fun to have. Okay, so hopefully it's open now. Yep. A stuffed animal. It probably belonged to that kid that used to live here. some handgun bullets we have so many handgun bullets okay so this next cutscene is one of my favorites in the whole game this is really fucking cool i just like just check out how like they frame this i don't, I don't want to say too much but just there she is oh it's you yeah i'm james Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. 
Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? That shot's so cool. How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She is dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think so. Or are you, James? Sorry. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. This bit's really Besides, fucking weird. I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. That bit. Oh, that's. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I feel bad. Please don't. Oh, that's so fucking weird. I love that whole cutscene. It's like it's so unsettling and it's so weird and like. Do we have? Oh, you know what? Let's patch ourselves up with some delicious health drinks. Um, so we got the snake coin, the old man coin, the prisoner coin. I think there's one more of them we might need. Um, Okay, we gotta head to apartment 105 with our three coins. Um, I am Wood99 says, I need to get a PS2 and play this game ASAP. Dude, you, sh you should absolutely play this game. Like, it fucking rules. It's still the peak of horror games to me. Nothing has ever touched this. Um, if you want to play it, though, I would actually check out trying to get it running on your PC. Like, if you have, like, a day or so and you just kind of want to go through it, um, you can get like an up you, this is the updated version of it and it's great and it looks beautiful It does take a lot of like you have to know a little bit about mounting CDs and stuff, but it's um, It's it's worth it. Like I I adore this game So I think we're in 105 now There's something written on the desk. Three bright coins in five holes B. At one end sits the seducer of she. So at one end is the snake. The wind blows from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, Null, lies furthest from they. The old one beside the serpent sits not. 
Tis the prisoners left that he doth rot. Okay, let me see if I can remember this. There's something written on the desk. Three bright coins in five holes B. At one end sits the serpent of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, Null, lies furthest from they. The old one beside the serpent sits not. The prisoner is left that he doth rot. Okay, I think I might remember how this goes. Coin, old prisoner. So I think that one goes here. And I think the big stumbling block for this puzzle is that the prisoner is also, it's also a woman. And so, yeah, actually I forgot about that. So let's, let's look at the clues one more time. Three bright coins and five holes B at the, at one end sits the seducer of she, the wind from behind the, the woman doth play. The formless one null lies furthest from they. The old one beside the serpent sits not. So the prisoner's left. Okay, I think I know I think I know it. So that goes in there. Coin old man. there and I think finally there oh shit that must not be it hmm well then that means the snake has to go over the other side Yeah, that's the only way it can go. Okay. Oh, because it's the woman's back and she's... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So the snake goes over here. So this is a weird thing in this game where if you increase the difficulty, the riddles actually change as well, which I think is kind of cool. Oh shit, is that not it? God damn it, okay. So. Hmm. Take a look at this again. Three bright coins and five holes B. At one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. So there's nothing to the woman's right. The formless one null lies furthest from they. The old one, the old one beside the serpent sits not. To the prisoner's left that he doth rot. Oh, I think okay. So it can still, yeah, there's no point. But, so I think if we just move them over one, that should do it. The prisoner looks like a woman. And then the old man. Yes! Okay, got the Lin House key. And that should be in, I think, the floor above us. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, Wimble, Wurble Wumble, are you on hard difficulty? No, just kind of stupid. So that's all that is. But, oh shit, you know, there's actually a save in here. So we'll just save. It is in this place, right? 
Yeah, it is. Nearly two hours. Okay. I don't, I think we're nearly out of here. I know I've been saying that for like a while now, but I genuinely think we actually are. <sighs> um, guys, have any of you checked out that new Crunchyroll film, The Black Fox thing? Uh, because I checked, I saw like a trailer for it and the animation looked great and I was really surprised. And if people have seen that, I'd be really curious to what they thought. <laughs> what do you, uh, Ira Katunda asks, what do you think you have to do with the juice on the highest difficulty? <laughs> That's pretty good. really fucking sounds scary with headphones that I didn't I didn't like that one goddamn bit got some handgun bullets there's nothing that looks to be of any use we got it we got a letter apartments I got the apartment stairway key Let's just save that again. Yeah, um, Wirble Wumble, I don't know if I noticed that either. Uh, Pixel Hipster, yeah, I have seen the Silent Hill steamed hams. For, okay, so for that video, I spent nearly an entire day watching steamed hams videos, and by the end of it, I felt like I was losing my mind. Okay, so we... Oh, can we not get back out that way? Oh, yeah, no, we totally can. Can't get in there. Okay. So, let's see. We have the apartment key now. So, we got to find one la that one last locked door. And I think we're out of here then. Okay, now we're just gonna run. Just run, run. Forget it. No. Okay, no, it's okay. Oh. Don't think about it. Just don't think about that. Uh. Okay. Okay. So if I remember right, with this guy. Uh, I think you can just wait for him to go away, but I'm gonna shoot him because that's what I do with my problems. Oh Shit, okay. I know that does a lot of damage shit So basically the tactic is like to just Run James So you pretty much run from one corner to the other and just wait for him to go away. Did I get him? Is he oh no, he's not. I think that overhead swing is an instant kill. I'm not 100% about that. Oh, is he going to go away? No, he's not. Okay, cool. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, no, I don't like it. There's not too much to it, you know, he doesn't really have any, like, attacks that are, like, really... No one clip. No one clip. Oh my god. Oh, that was so bad. Oh shit balls. That was so bad. Oh, I don't think Oh. Fuck. Okay, if everyone in the chat could please stop being so mean. My feelings are really hurt and I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I absolutely deserve that. That was so bad. That was so fucking bad. Ah, there it is. Clips. Yep. Oh, God damn you, Air Taco. God damn it. Oh. Stupid fucking pyramid head. Oh shit, that was... Please sir, please just go away. Sir? Sir? Sir, no sir, please. Stupid sexy pyramid head. Oh, it's still coming. Sir? Sir? Okay, fuck. <sighs> so he walks down into this water. I think he's already gone. Yeah, he is. God damn it, I can see everyone clipping that fucking... Can we just get back to appreciating what a great game this is? I mean, I mean, who's to say who actually made a mistake there? Was it me, the person who's playing the game, or was it all of you at home watching this? I, I don't know. I couldn't make a call like that personally. I'm not I'm not shifting the blame. I'm just I'm just asking some questions is all I'm doing. Okay, so now we're out of those awful awful apartments. Fucking overhead. Oh, I'm so annoyed about that. There's not much to fucking. I'm so stupid. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'd never seen that animation before. Okay. 
Here she fucking is. Queen of assholes. You! It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. It, it really is his business. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? Such a weird little tunnel. So this is that park. Mary, are you here? The answer is kind of. such a good those are good footsteps <gasps> where is she Mary <gasps> oh 